Hey everybody, it's Ashley, the Weekend Hero. Today, I have a different type of video. As you see, I'm in my kitchen. We're currently in quarantine. Um, and since we can't technically go out to eat, uh, lately we've been making foods. Now I saw my, my family sharing a bunch of like videos and images of them making pizzas and pastas. So this will be like my addition to that little trend we have going on. Today, I have a little helper here. Or, you wanna say hello? Hello! Oh, what? all right. <laughs> Go get a chair. So, so that's gonna help me prep some meals. I, what I got in mind is maybe some rice and pork chops. Come on, clear it over. Uh, so I'm gonna make some space here, and we're gonna get to start cooking. Oh, by the way, by no means is this a how-to video. Not a professional cooker, one. Two, I kinda just like throw proportions around. I don't know, so I'm not gonna be saying one cup of this, two cup of that, and just all, you know that, I'm just gonna, Bring you guys along with me while I cook. Oh, let me get this out of the way, Sebastian. Mm. Oh, Sebastian likes helping me to cook. <laughs> All right, so why don't we get the rice and just clean it? With the, with the small cup. You want to come over here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We got some rice right here. We need two cups so we can make rice for everybody. Sorry, right. pour it in there. Good job. All right, one more. Okay, pour it in there. All right. Yeah, Bobby's gonna clean it. Let me clean it. Let me... Just clean the rice real quick. Uh, all right, so I'm thinking of making the cilantro lime rice. So I want white rice, don't make anything Yeah, but then it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Carefully pour it in. You want to bring it over here? See this? We actually get it out. Like I'm just getting some water. Just pour it. You see that nine right there where it says two? You gotta get it to two, okay? Let me get some salt. Look, I got salt. And then I'm gonna put some salt on your hand. And you're gonna spray it. No, mix it up. A little bit of vegetable oil, just a tad bit of vegetable oil. Okay, keep mixing, keep mixing. All right, it is, it is. It doesn't smell right now. 100 million. Couple lemons, wait, wait, I'll squeeze the lemon just like that. We're gonna put this over here, okay? Bobby's gonna put it over here. Bobby's gonna do this next part, okay? Cause we gotta cut this, okay? All right, so let's cut some lemons. Oh, they have stickers. Lemons have stickers. Yeah, you am gonna get one right there. Yeah. Again, this is up to you guys what you want to put on it. I'm just making a, a cilantro and rice. So what I do is I actually put everything to cook inside a slow cooker. Don't try it. I need to try it. Try it. <laughs> so, like this. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. So currently I added four lemons. I have no idea what measurements are. I just, I just add stuff. When something doesn't taste right, I just fix it in the next time I do it. So I don't technically have like a, a recipe per se. I can tell you what I put inside of it, but it's different every time to be quite honest. So it tastes different. It's mostly like trial and error when I'm cooking. Eventually I'll figure it out. Is that the last one? You ready to dump it? Ready? Dump it. It's a 30 minute, approximately 30 minutes cooking, and uh, we'll be right back. Like I said, we're gonna make some pork chops. I got some boneless yeah. chops right here, the large ones. Uh, before you touch it, Papa, here, wash your hands. For the groups, can I get me? Mm -hmm. Just wash your hands. Because we're touching everything. Yeah, we can get germs everywhere. So, rice is still cooking. 
But I kind of want to get the meat ready so we can just let it sit. Put four of them here. Let me drop them. Four. Add salt and pepper, however much you want. All right, so the way you do this is you open here and then you shake it on it. Now, try to mix it up. No, 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 not like that, not like that. You gotta use your hands to mix it like this. Get it in there. So let Papi do, let Papi do the rest, okay? And then we put it, put it in the oven. You gotta put the other side now, too. So I flipped them. I'm gonna put a uh, salt and pepper on the other side, too. You wanna do this one? Yeah. I'm gonna let this sit a bit. Papi's gonna do this part, okay? I don't want you to get burnt. All right, so on the pan, I put about medium high. And for this one, I'm gonna use olive oil. Yeah. You can be generous with this. I got four pork chops, I'm gonna eat the oil up. Um, I'm gonna let the pan get hot. So you'll know when the pan is getting hotter as soon as the oil starts just flowing easier on it. So I'm just gonna spread the oil out. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna add a couple things to it. I got butter here. I'm just gonna add a couple spoons of butter. Again, this is to your liking. I'm just gonna add this spoon of butter, another bit of butter. So yeah, so once this is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add the pork chops real quick. So let's just add them. While those are on, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some, here it is, some thyme. And what I'll do with this is I'll let it sit on one side for about three to four minutes and then I'll flip them to the other side. And I haven't changed the heat on it, it's still at medium high. Okay, so it's been about three or four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. I'm looking for a nice gold color when I finish cooking. Um, so I'm gonna leave this side again for another three minutes. Okay, so it's been about uh, three minutes. I'm gonna start adding some garlic to this whole thing. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick flip. Okay, and add some more to the bottom. I'll give it a minute like that again, and I'll flip it one more time. Okay, I'm starting to get that nice golden color I'm looking for. I'm gonna bring the heat down just a little bit to medium. And my rice just finished, so give it one more minute there and I'm probably gonna pull them out. And then get the, get the rice ready. I'm gonna get the meat out right now, just to put it aside. Okay, uh, remember to turn off your stove. Here's the pork chops. Now let's get the rice done. I'm gonna uh, chop up some cilantro. That should be enough. I don't want any more than that. And the kids don't eat it. One last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some steamed vegetables to the mix. Nothing special here. I literally got a bag of vegetables, steamable. Pop it in the microwave. Five and a half minutes. That's pretty much it. All right, once the vegetables are done, careful, again, this is hot. I'm just gonna open this up. And there you have it. Dinner is served. All right, that was Cooking with the Weekend Hero. Um, you know what to do, like, comment, subscribe. Um, as you see, we're pretty desperate to eat. Everyone's hungry. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna sign out. We're gonna have a delicious meal. You wanna say something? Bye-bye. All right, thanks guys.